Hello everyone, I'm Sophia Haber-Brock and welcome back to Sophia Studio. Today I'm joined by actress, best known for her role of Stephanie on Nick Jr.'s Lazy Town, Chloe Lane. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hi, thank you for having me. <laughs> of course. So mm -hmm. when did your passion for acting begin? So I actually started acting around seven years old. And um, the story how I got into it is pretty funny, but um, I've been a dancer since I was a tiny baby. So I always had a passion for performing, I guess. And then I started singing. And um, one day one of my friends called me up and said, hey, there's some role that um, for like background users, like at Lake Compound shooting, like, do you want to try it? And I was like, yeah, sure, let's try it. Cause I'd never done anything with acting or anything on set behind camera like that. So I spent the day at Lake Compounds, just like in the background of this movie. And at the end of the day, I was like, this was so much fun. I want to keep doing this. And I want to like get a role where I'm like the main character in a movie one day. So then I started um, auditioning and I got a manager and an agent and uh, yeah, my love for acting just kind of took off from there. <laughs> How did you get the opportunity to audition for Stephanie? Um, through my manager, actually. Um, she's the one that gets all the auditions for me and she called me up and she said that she had this audition for the show called Lazy Town. Um, and they had already filmed the first two seasons, but they were doing like the second two seasons and needed to recast the main character. So I'd actually at the time never really heard of Lazy Town. So um, I was looking at what it was and I was like, yeah, this looks really fun. I want to audition for it. And I went into the city and um, yeah, I remember that first audition. I was super nervous, but um, it was pretty funny. And then immediately after that, I had gotten a call back. And um, that's like when they just want to see you again. And I went in the, the next day after that first audition. And yeah, and then about two weeks after that, I had got the phone call that I booked the job. Oh, wow. So um, did where, were, where did they film the show? So uh, this one actually surprises people sometimes because Lazy Town was filmed in Iceland. So I lived there for a couple of years while I was filming it. And that's because the creator of the show, who also played Sportacus, um, he's actually Icelandic. So although some of the characters like me and uh, some of the other puppeteers were casted from the United States, we actually all went and filmed it in Iceland and it was really cool. Where did you live previously? Like, where is your hometown? Connecticut. So that's where I am right now. <laughs> what was it like having to leave like your home and move to a foreign country like that? Um, it was, at the time, I was nothing but excited because this was the biggest thing that I'd ever booked. And um, I was just so overwhelmed and excited by all these opportunities. Um, but it was definitely like a big commitment and leaving my family was pretty hard, but, um, you know, we would FaceTime them and I had a lot of my friends and family actually be able to come and visit me in Iceland, which that was super cool. Um, so overall, it was like a really good experience and definitely worth it, but it was hard at the time. What was it like working with the cast and crew on set? Everyone was so much fun. Um, I actually, my, all, all of the cast and crew, like I said, besides some of us were, um, they were from Iceland. So everyone would kind of speak Icelandic to me on set and try and teach me it. And we we're always just having a good time and running around the studio, um, especially like Robbie Rotten, Stephen Carl, he was always cracking jokes and same with the puppeteers. And Magnus himself, he just had so much energy all the time that we were always having a blast on set. Do you have any specific stories that you can share of working with the cast and crew? <laughs> yeah, um, some, of, some of my favorite memories actually are, are when we were just hanging out like in the dressing rooms, not necessarily filming or doing certain scenes. 
But I remember that um, my brother came to stay with me for one summer and me and him would just ride our scooters around the studio all day. And like the puppeteers would always like play games with us and we would just hang out in their dressing room and play board games and just crack jokes. And those are definitely like the most fun memories. What was an average day like on set? An average day uh, usually started around 7 a.m. Um, and I would get my hair and makeup done. And then um, if I wasn't like first call on set, then I would usually spend all the other time in the morning just with my um, tutor, doing some schoolwork, um, things like that. And then when I would be needed to call to set, they, I would just go and I would go on set. And then other times when I wasn't like actually filming a scene, I would also need to be learning and practicing like the dance routines and the songs because each episode had a new song and um, a new dance. So every week I was like recording in the studio as well. So I was definitely always super busy. <laughs> what was that like having to learn a new song and dance every week? Uh, well, because of my background, I guess, with singing and dancing, um, I, I'd been able to like pick it up pretty quickly. So at the time it, it like wasn't, it didn't seem like too, too much. It was definitely a lot. Like looking back in it, I'm like, wow, learning a new song every week. Like that's crazy. But um, at the time, like I, I was just like in the role of it and, and uh, just like, I don't know, just banging it out. It didn't seem like too much at the time, but, but it was crazy. <laughs> Did you, um, so what was it like working Okay, so I know the show's primarily CGI, so mm -hmm. what was it like working with the green screen and working with people cast as puppets? Um, for me, at first, it definitely took some getting used to. I remember, like, the first episode felt a little weird getting used to, um, like, you know, having, having to hear the puppeteer's voice, but having to look at the puppet. Um, that was definitely something that was kind of strange and just getting used to like a lot of the stuff being there, just having to be edited in afterwards. So you're not really fully seeing what it's gonna be like, but I got used to it pretty quickly. And especially since everyone else um, of the cast and crew, they were super used to it. They, they kind of like taught me along the way and got me used to it super quickly also. Oh, did you ever get to meet the original Stephanie? Yeah, we met actually only once. Uh, we met up in New York. Unfortunately, it was for sad circumstances. We were making a video for Steph and Carl, but we did get to meet and she was super sweet and uh, she's a lot older than me now. But um, yeah, we met once. <laughs> um, where did you get your inspiration for the part? Um, I think just from the people around me on set, like Magnus was definitely a big part of, of my inspiration because like I said, he just had so much energy and, and charisma and passion for the show. And um, he kind of took me under his wing and, and he like, he really believed in me and he knew that what I could do with the character was really awesome. So that kind of inspired me to, to kind of transform myself into Stephanie and just like, bring that energy and bring that charisma that the character has. Do you relate yourself, like your own personality to her? Um, I do. I mean, I've definitely changed a lot since I was younger because I filmed it when I was 10 years old. But um, at the time, I definitely thought I related to her a lot. I mean, I myself love to sing and dance and be energetic and perform. Um, and one thing that I'd say I have the most in common with Stephanie is that through the show, you could really tell that she cared a lot about her friends in Lazy Town. And I care a lot about my friends and my family. So that's something that we definitely have in common. What was it like having, um, getting to let your family and friends visit you on set? It was so much fun. I always loved having visitors because I got so excited to be able to show them around the studio and show them around Iceland. And everyone always had a blast and always loved it. So I had so much fun like being the host. But um, yeah, it was awesome being able to bring my family there, even just to see all that Iceland itself has to offer. It's such a beautiful country and they were so happy to be able to be shown around.
So when you weren't on set, what were you up to in Iceland? Yeah, so we filmed five days a week, so that left the weekends free, um, which isn't even that much time. Uh, like we explored so much around Reykjavik and just what we could, but so much, um, so much of Iceland, you have to like drive really far. So sometimes we would take really big trips. We did a few big trips. We went to the Glacier Lagoon. Um, as a cast and crew, we went on a really big hike. Um, each season and we like went on like a two-day bus ride um, so we did a lot of cool stuff and just kind of I spent my weekends I guess exploring and going to restaurants trying new foods and seeing new things and things like that. So I know you traveled during Lazy Town so where did you go? Um, I traveled to London a few times for some live performances um, I went to Paris and um, one trip that was definitely one of the biggest trips that I've ever been on with um, Lazy Town was when I went to Beijing and I live performed for the Chinese New Year. Um, that was super cool and a really long flight, but definitely I don't know if I would have ever been able to go to China without Lazy Town. So I'm super grateful for that. That was a really cool experience. Mm -hmm. Do you have any specific like moments or memories from that trip that you remember? Yeah, I remember um, I remember when when I had landed, I had like rehearsal later that night and um, we went and there was I got like my own little section to get my hair and makeup done. And I went and I got to see the stage that we would be performing on and it was huge. And like there was a big audience and I just remember being like, wow, like this is crazy. Like there's so many people, this is really huge. And it was really cool. Wow, that's so cool that you got to travel so many places like for the show. Yeah. Um, so after Lazy Town, or how long did you stay in the cast of Lazy Town? So I filmed two seasons with Lazy Town seasons three and four, and it would take around six months to film one season. And then we would have like a six month break. And then we went back for another six months to film the second season. Um, and then and then that was it. And when I left after the fourth season, um, if I'm remembering cl correctly, I think we weren't sure if we were doing another season or not. But um, yeah, then they had decided that season four was gonna be it. And I'd went back to Iceland a few more times after that, just for some like, um, like some, ADR and just some like editing work and things like that, like other last minute stuff that needed to be done. But yeah, so I guess I say like two years I spent, I spent filming that. So it's been a pretty long time since then, right? So what have you, what was your next project after Lazy Town? Um, once I finished Lazy Town, I came back and I decided to go back into public school because obviously when I was living in Iceland, I needed to be homeschooled. Um, so once I finished filming for good, then I wanted to go back into public school. So I spent seventh and eighth grade doing that. And then for high school, um, I decided to join my dance team and I kind of really wanted to focus on my academics and my dance team with the school. And we would travel and compete with them. Um, and it was like a really big commitment dancing. Um, and I also went to like an arts high school where I was doing um, visual arts and painting and photography and things like that. So I decided to just spend a lot of my time doing a lot of that stuff like that I could get from my high school. So I was continuing to audition, going in and out of the city um, when I could, when I didn't have dance practice. And I think, um, I took a couple years off, but then the the next role, big role that I booked after that was The Fifth Borough. And I filmed that, um, I think I started filming that my sophomore year in high school. And then we filmed like a pilot and it kind of went back and forth for a while. Then we filmed it um, as a movie and the film actually just came out last June. So that was kind of what my big project that I've been doing recently. What was that experience like, getting to work on that? It was really cool. I met so many cool people um, and it was such a different role from Lazy Town. 
So it was really awesome getting to have that experience too and getting to try different roles um, and working with people like Steve and Tara Reed. They were so much fun. Um, yeah, so I just got to meet really awesome people and it was a good experience. And you said that you um, went to an arts high school. I, I'm actually in the arts academy. We have an arts academy at my, at my high school, so yeah. Yeah, that's really cool. I, I love, like, I've always loved painting and drawing and visual arts, um, but I've never done it, like, professionally. I've always just kind of done it for fun. But, yeah, I spent my, my four high school years doing all that, and it was really cool. When you came back from Iceland, what was your family and friends' reactions, like, when you came back? Um, it was really awesome because all of my family and friends just kind of treated me like normal and just brought me right back into the loop um, of just being like a normal teenage girl, I guess. Um, so that was really awesome because that's what I wanted. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it might have been weird to be treated like a celebrity or something. Right? Yeah, because it was, I mean, everyone was like happy to see me just because I'd been gone for so long. So that was really nice. But yeah, for the most part, I just kind of like got right back into the normal groove of school and stuff like that. And um, I saw that you had a film in the Brightside Tavern Film Festival called Harper's First Kiss. Yeah. Can you talk about that? Yeah, Harper's First Kiss. That was so much fun. And I loved Haley. She's such a sweetheart. And I also met so many fun people on that set for the cast and crew. And that role was also super interesting. Um, the film was so good and like that twist at the end. Um, it was a really good film and it was fun. It was fun to work on. I remember I was nervous though because those Shakespeare lines, I was like, how am I ever gonna memorize these? But um, we ended up getting it after a few takes. But yeah, it was really fun. It was a fun day to film that. And you won some awards for your role, right? Yes. Yes, that was, I'm so grateful for that. Thank you. Thank you for bringing that up. Um, <laughs> But yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> um, do you have any specific memories from working on that show too? I remember, um, I remember we had some really good laughs like in the break room, like the snack room, when we we're all um, like where we would hang out kind of when we weren't in that specific scene. And um, yeah, everyone, we were all kind of, uh, because on Lazy Town, I was so used to, to being on set with mostly adults. And for Harper's First Kiss, it was all other kids my age. So that was probably the best part of it, that we were all kind of the same age. So we all had like a really good time together. Did you learn anything from that experience? Yeah, I mean, I think I always learn new things from, I try and always take away things from every new experience that, that I have. But I learned so much from Haley. I mean, she is so smart and she's even younger than me, which was crazy. But it was so awesome to see like how passionate she was and like just see kind of like her vision be able to come to life and how successful the film did. And uh, yeah, so it was really cool to kind of be able to see her do that. Mm -hmm. And it must have been cool to be surrounded by people your age that had the same interests, right? Yeah, it, that was that was the other really cool thing, too, because um, for a lot of people from my public school, um, you know, there's not so many kids that that love to do this thing. So I thought it was really cool that I was like surrounded in a room with people that had such a passion for for filmmaking and, and acting and the arts in general. So any of any other projects that you worked on? Well, recently, um, I've been just continuing to audition, but everything's been virtual. So I've just been like doing self tapes and virtually submitting stuff, but I don't have any new projects coming up um, at the moment. Just working on, um, like I said, I have school starting again, my second semester of college and it's my sophomore year. So it's been pretty busy, even with COVID, even with online school, it's been an adjustment. So I've been really focusing on that recently. So where do you go to college and what's your major? So I go to school at Pace University and it's in New York City. Um, and I'm majoring in arts and entertainment management. So um, what kind of things do you do for your major? 
Well, my first year, I actually had just like all my, my like basic classes. So I had just like my math, English, all that stuff. And then last semester, I had my first few business classes and management classes. Um, and then this semester, I get to start like the arts and entertainment management focus of it. So um, I feel like I'm just going to be able to start like really focusing in on that with like my classes wise, which I'm really excited about that. Um, and then I'll be looking to get some interns in New York City. And that is one of the main reasons that I wanted to go to Pace um, is because of the internship opportunities. So I'm really looking forward to that. And what are you looking forward to? Like, what do you want to work in in the future? Um, like, kind of like how my manager does talent management for me. Like, I want to do talent management for other actors and actresses or maybe even singers. I'm not specifically sure yet. That's why I kind of want to intern to be able to try a bunch of different stuff. But that's what I'm like focusing in on. Are there any internships that you have in mind already? Or are you, you're not sure yet? I'm not sure yet. I still got to look and I'm still seeing what's what's available. But I'm excited either way. What's college been like in quarantine? College in quarantine, it's been, it's been stressful. I mean, it's not too bad. I've adjusted pretty well to like the online school, but it's definitely really different for everyone. Everyone that's going through it, it's been a huge adjustment, I feel like. Um, but I'm lucky that I have like a really good roommate. So quarantining actually isn't that bad. <laughs> and I know you also have a YouTube channel. So can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, YouTube is actually something that I started during uh, quarantine over the summer because I'd never really, um, I'd always been, I thought, like, too busy to ever really sit down and, like, figure out how to edit and how to upload um, just because I'd never really um, tried it before. So with all this time on my hands, that's something that was really good that was able to come out of it. And now I love it. Just, I kind of just I vlog, um, I do like nighttime skincare routines, um, makeup routines, uh, just things like that. Just fun little things like all the YouTube videos that I like to watch of other people. Like those are the kind of videos that I like to make too. Hmm, that's so cool. And you gained a pretty big following on that too, right? Yeah, I actually just uh, reached 50 thousand subscribers like last week so that was super cool I think like when I started over the summer I had like 20,000 something so it's been really awesome to kind of see my dedication to YouTube pay off because I've been trying to be really good about posting like every single week and so far I have so it's been cool to kind of see it take off a little bit and I saw that you post a lot of things like lazy town related too so does that help your like followers yeah yeah I guess it helps like my following and like my and stuff um a lot of my fan base you know that's what that's what they want to see that's what they they're interested in and um I have so many lazy so much lazy town footage like behind the scenes videos and just photos and pictures from over the years so it's fun to share it mm -hmm. what's your favorite type of video to make um, I really like vlog style videos. I think they're super fun and super casual. And obviously, as you can tell, like I can talk a lot. So, um, <laughs> so yeah, I think the vlog style videos are really fun to make. Um, do you have any plans for your, your channel in the future or you're just going to continue doing what you're doing? Um, as of right now, I, I'm just going to continue doing what I'm doing, but I definitely a goal of mine for 2021 is that I want to get like better, a better camera and microphone for my YouTube channel, because right now I just use like my iPhone and like the basic editing tools on my computer. Um, but I really want to learn how to kind of get a little more, more savvy with that. And you also have a TikTok too, right? Yeah, I also do TikTok too. Yeah. And I saw one of your videos, it got like, how many, like so many views on it. Yeah, one of, one of the videos that went viral um, was actually a Lazy Town video. It was like my first video that went viral. Um, and that really kind of got me a lot of followers and got my TikTok to where it is today. And it all happened pretty quickly because I don't even think I had the app until quarantine started. And then I was like, well, I guess might as well since we're all stuck at home. 
And that's kind of what got me into TikTok also. And I, I was looking through the comments and so many like really popular TikTok stars commented on your video. It's so cool. Yeah, that was definitely a highlight of quarantine, seeing <laughs> some of the comments that were left on my video. And um, I also saw you worked with the Connecticut Children's Medical Center, like this virtual reality thing. Can you talk about that? Yeah, so um, I, I, I have been with um, the medical center for a while because of my ulcerative colitis. And I got, I have a really good relationship with Dr. Heim. So he thought of me as being kind of the spokesperson for this new virtual reality that they were putting in the infusion center. So um, I worked with that team for, for a little bit and got that set up. And I was at like the opening and I got to cut the ribbon and make a little speech. And um, I was super grateful that Dr. Himes thought of me and wanted to include me because it was a super special day. <laughs> um, do you have any advice for students or young people interested in the field of acting and stuff? Yeah, I mean, I guess I would just say, um, just keep doing what you're doing. And, and it's it could be really easy to give up, especially in times like this when, there's not that much going on and you really have to work extra hard to kind of stick out and be and get where you want to go, be. But um, it's definitely worth it and just keep going. Um, and if this is something that you really love, like acting and performing is something that you really love, then um, it's definitely worth it. Um, and do you have any social medias that you would like to plug? Uh, yeah, sure. My Instagram is Chloe5Lang. Um, my YouTube is also Chloe Five Lang, and you can follow my TikTok at Chloe Max Lang. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. So um, that's all the questions that I have. So thank you so much for joining me today of and thank sharing you. your story with me. Yeah. And definitely make, definitely make sure to check out all of our social medias. And I'm looking forward to seeing your future projects. Thank you. It was really good to talk to you. Yeah, you too. Thanks. <laughs>